For these questions, we're going to name each figure as parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's talk about parallel lines. Parallel lines are when lines or line segments run alongside each other, but never meeting up and never crossing, sort of like railroad tracks. Inside of the word parallel, you can see that there are two L's. That's a good reminder to show you what parallel lines look like. Another important geometric figure are perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines do meet up. In fact, perpendicular lines have to either touch or cross another line or line segment. But for them to be perpendicular, the lines or line segments have to cross or touch in a special way, in a way that would create a right angle. A right angle is a perfect angle that looks like the corner of your paper or the corner of a room. So when lines or line segments touch and create at least one right angle or cross and create at least two right angles, you know that those lines are perpendicular. So let's look at some examples. On number one, we can see that we have two lines running alongside each other at the exact same distance but never meeting up. So we know that for number one, the lines are parallel. I'm going to write P-A-R to abbreviate. On number two, I see two lines. They haven't met up yet, and it doesn't look like if they kept going on forever, they would ever meet up. In fact, if you just imagine the lines being longer, you would see that they would just continue to run alongside each other. So number two are also parallel. But on number three, they have met up. The two line segments have met in one spot. They're touching. And they're touching in a way that creates a perfect right angle, that perfect corner. So we know that since there is at least one right angle, that it's going to be perpendicular. So on number four, I see two lines and they are running alongside each other, even though they're diagonal and one's longer than the other, they still are parallel. On number six, we see those two lines touching in a way that created a right angle. So those are perpendicular. On number seven, I see that two lines are intersecting. So they're not gonna be parallel, but they could be perpendicular. But I have to look and see, did they cross in that special way that makes a right angle? And if I look at each angle, this one is not a right angle. If I look at this one, I can see it's not a right angle. And none of the angles that are created from the intersection are right angles. So this is neither perpendicular or parallel. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.